Fuck the real world. Hope everybody's good. Thanks for being here. Today is, uh, I think it's Monday, November 22nd, 2021, for anybody keeping track. Coming up on Halloween. Uh, just passed Kyle's uh, not guilty verdict, as we knew he would be. I just didn't know if he would be actually declared not guilty, but we already talked about that. Um, now, yesterday, a car um, barreled through up in Wisconsin, barreled through a Christmas parade, right? And the timing with the trial and everything, you know, my first thought is, are you kidding me? Someone's taking it out on a Christmas parade. You know, many people hurt, hit, killed. And looking at the video, uh, the little clips of video, I and you know, I'm not defending the driver, um, or, you know, I would never do that. This is a horrible thing. But I was looking at it and it kind of looked like the driver's intent was not to mow down the parade. It looked like they were trying to get away from something um, because it was driving along the people. And then finally, when it got clogged where there was people, it kind of veered around and then ended up going through the path of less, least resistance. It, um, the vehicle kind of tried to go around some people, but then there were still people in the way and they just said, F it, I'm going which, you know, and then somebody fired on the car. I don't know if it was the police that fired on the car or a citizen who fired on the car. Whoever it was was obviously justified in firing on the car. Um, and then it kept going. And then it was found later backed into a driveway, which I thought was weird because, I mean, heavy front end damage. And uh, I thought it was strange because why would you face the damage towards the road and there was a garage back there. Why not put it in the garage? It looked like they could have driven behind the house. Why not behind the house? And then I'm kind of thinking, perhaps this was a stolen vehicle and they didn't really care. And that's just a random house they left it at. Uh, but still, I'm not sure why they backed it in. That's kind of weird. I would, even a stolen vehicle, they would still hope it's not found super quickly. And with that damaged face on the road and the whole country seeing that video, someone's going to notice it. So that made me, you know, that put together with the fact that to me, it looked like it was trying to get away from something. Maybe that vehicle had just been stolen. I'm always speculating, who knows, but maybe that vehicle had just been stolen and, or carjacked even, and they're fleeing and the route they take, holy crap, there's a Christmas parade and I just did this and I don't want to go to jail. What am I going to do? I have to go this way. And then it, it eventually bottlenecked and clogged into solid people where it couldn't drive next to it. The one little clip, man, flying down the road alongside the parade, right past a little girl dancing on the side of the road. I mean, uh, you know, I'm going to say don't have your little girl, girl dancing in the road, but you know, these people's minds, the road was closed and everything. So, um, but still, you always have to expect the unexpected and plan for anything. Um, but to me, I won't be surprised to see, to, to learn that that car was just stolen or just carjacked or a vehicle matching that description had just done a robbery or a shooting or something because it looked to me that that car was trying to get the hell out of somewhere. And, uh, you know, the typical criminals not keeping up with parade routes and, you know, oh, when's the town parade? And uh, just kind of appeared into the parade. And instead of turning around and going back to not victimize innocent people and children, they decided they're just going to go through that. And again, you know, I wasn't given any credit to that driver by saying, you know, they went around most of it and then slowed down and tried to, you know, what they did was a horrible thing. If they mowed down one person or as many as they did, um, and just the fact, you know, you know, they commit a felony and then it doesn't obviously give them the right to just commit more. And, you know, and again, speculating, I don't know if that's the case, but from the little video clips, that's what it looked like to me. Someone that intentionally wanted to mow down that parade, they wouldn't have passed so much parade and then kind of swerved around and didn't start mowing through people. They went over barricades and stuff, but they didn't start mowing over people until people clogged the roadway of no fault of the people, to be clear. I'm just saying, I, I'm not going to be surprised to see that it was fleeing something else or another event. Uh, because I mean, the timing, how crazy, right? 
doesn't it seem to be that there seems to be one, you know, one big event at a time, one big event at a time to keep you focused, to keep you paying attention to what they want you to pay attention to. Anyway, we'll see what happens with that. But that was, uh, I just wanted to share that because that was my initial thought. After I saw a couple video clips, I'm like, wait a minute, this, I went into it thinking they did this intentionally. And then, I mean, they did, but you know, with like set out with the intent to mow down the parade. But then after I saw the video, I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense. It looks like they're running from something. Uh, Cryberries running from something. So I have to, uh, a little disappointed, a little disappointed that this topic that I want to talk about, I didn't, I'm kind of slow catching on to it. I don't know what happened. I don't know how I didn't come across this. Or I, 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 I do so much digging, so much research into so many different things. You know, the crazier it sounds, the more interested I am to find out if it's crazy, you know, if it's true or not. And um, it's, I don't know, maybe I came across it here or there, but didn't pay it much attention, but I don't remember. So, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it already. I'm not going to give my opinion, right? I'm not going to give my opinion. I want to see what everybody else is saying. I don't want to. I don't want to taint the water. I want to see what everybody else is saying. You're welcome. Um, I, oh, shoot, I wonder. If, I'm probably doing this and talking. The lady probably thought I'm like gesturing or talking at her. No, no, just to myself, lady. Um, so, someone said to me not too long ago, "Hey, down this stretch of highway, did you see all the purple streetlights? Purple streetlights? No, I don't go. I." don't typically typically travel that way i haven't in a little while why what what do you mean purple street lights he said, yeah they're all like purple street lights they're all like black lights and uh, he says but there was just a thing on the news where they said it was a defect a manufactured defect in the bulbs and i said oh really that's weird how many and, and he said oh a whole bunch and he describes the you know the whole length of area where these lights are purple and my first thought was manufactured defect I'm like hold on I'm like so they installed that many that were purple he's describing as a black light uh spoiler alert later I went to see it myself and yes absolute black light for a long time um but they installed very clearly purple not white as they're allegedly supposed to be light bulb street light bulbs along the highway and surrounding areas that each bulb is very expensive I don't remember the exact cost I looked into it last night but it's they're very expensive and the time it takes to install each one right they so that costs money too they didn't test one not even one I'm very surprised that they don't test every single one right look and at least you know a couple here and there because I will tell you I'm, I'm very much into different lighting and things like that. So my favorite headlight bulbs that I put in vehicles cost $100, right? And they're, I mean, they're honestly the best headlight bulbs. I've used so many different types and brands and these are by far my favorite. They cost $100, but because they cost $100, there's only two bulbs. So when I, obviously two headlights, well, and then the high beams too. So technically it costs more, but they come two at a time, hundred bucks for the pair. So. When I plug in just one, I come in and test it before I hook everything back up. Because if I just assume they're gonna be great, hook it all up, put it back together, and turn it on and find out they don't work or they're not what they suppo they're supposed to be, then I've just wasted my time. Now, my time doesn't cost the taxpayers thousands and thousands of dollars to change my headlight bulbs. And, you know, but it takes my time and it's a hundred bucks, right? So I have to go back to the store or the manufacturer, right? And be like, hey, this is not right. Replace this. So you mean to tell me that hundreds of street light bulbs, giant expensive street light bulbs that takes thousands of dollars to pay for, and then thousands of dollars to pay for the workers to put them up. They didn't test them. I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that they didn't test them. I believe that they did test them and you know I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm not going to share my opinion but I will say I, I believe they I, I'll just do that I believe they did test them 
I believe they saw exactly what they were putting up. So, you know, that was my first thought. I'm like, well, that's weird. Um, that's very strange. I, that doesn't make any sense. And then I just kind of poof. And then I went and saw them and I was like, holy crap. This is like a big giant black light party area that you drive through. It's crazy. I mean, it looks kind of cool with the lighting on the ground and everything instead of the white light. And it's not like one here or there. It is every single light for a, a good stretch at least and then other places right and I'm like wow that's you know it's crazy seeing that yourself it's like they're actually black lights I'm like wow I can't believe they didn't check this so then after just random research I did into other topics I something popped up in a different state with these purple street light bulbs and I said wait that's weird and like I said here, they said it's a manufacturer defect and they've been working on it for months, right? Nothing's happened. They're still working on it, they said. So in another state, so I start reading about that. Same thing, manufacturer defect. They installed hundreds or thousands of these things. Didn't notice it, so they didn't test them, right? Again, they didn't test them. And it's a manufacturer defect. And don't worry, it's not going to cost the taxpayer anything. The manufacturer is going to cover this. Um... And that was many months ago. And I guess then there was a news story that followed up, said, hey, they're still here. And they just say, hey, we're still working on it. So now I'm curious to go more into it. And I find state after state after state after state and Canada and the UK, the same thing going on, highways, towns, roads, all over the place. Not just in this country, Canada, UK, and beyond, these purple purple or black light street light bulbs are popping up everywhere all over the place and the narrative is oh yeah manufactured defect so and and this is going back a, a year or more right that some of these have been happening so you mean to tell me this nobody in the world tests these things before they put them up or they have a policy where like hey if it's messed up just install it anyway we'll spend more money and deal with it later i don't believe that so they, they're either doing that or they're not testing them at all. And then on top of that, it's a manufacturer defect, right? So everybody's getting their bulb from the same maker, apparently. And nobody's sharing the word that, hey, other people, you know, governments that buy these bulbs, there's a problem with them. And the manufacturer of these bulbs, let's just say it's GE. I don't know if it is, but let's just say it's GE. GE didn't say, oh, hey, we have, a, uh, we have a production problem here. We've been advised there's a problem with these products. We can't sell them. We're going to fix it right now. No, none of this has happened. The word didn't go down the line. The manufacturer didn't say, hey, there's an issue. Just kept selling them, and nobody's checking them. Nobody in this globe is checking them. Everybody just put, put them up, and everybody just like, no, oh, weird, <laughs> weird. Nobody checks a single bulb. And there are local news stories from across the country and even Canada that basically say the same thing. Like, oh, yeah, you know, we find out why are these purple lights? And they say, oh, manufacturer defect, and they're working on it. Don't worry, it won't cost the taxpayer anything. They're going to cover it, right? It's the same narrative everywhere. And then people are just like, oh, okay, it makes sense. Nope, nope, doesn't make any damn sense to me. The very first thought, like I said, when somebody told me of the purple lights was they didn't check them. And that's when I thought it was just a few hundred in one area in one part of Florida. Come to find out they're all over Florida, all over different states. I don't have you, are you seeing them in your area? Let me know if you're seeing them in your area. And uh, here in a couple days, we're gonna do a video. I'm gonna go to them and uh, I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna do some experiments there too. Now, I have some ideas why these might be here. I don't know, call me crazy. Plenty of others have already. Join them, won't you? Uh, so I have some thoughts, but like I said, I'm not gonna taint the water. I wanna see what other people say. And then I look forward to, I have to wait a couple days, unfortunately. I wish I would have got this idea two nights ago and I could have done it already, but I gotta wait a couple days and then I'm gonna show you and we're gonna go do some stuff with those, um, those, uh, manufacturer defect bulbs and check those out so look forward to that 
meantime let me know what you think also let me know what you think about that car i don't know distraction maybe maybe it's just just that might be an event um but it didn't seem to me it seems to me like they're fleeing something and these purple lights i'm very anxious to go do this thing because it'll be cool um and i'm very curious to see the result so a little, little experiment i guess anyway thanks for being here let me know what you think twist of the truth i'll see